Welcome. This video is on prime factorization by division. The visibility rule. Now this will play a big part in prime factorization by division. As a reminder, you may watch the playlist of the visibility rules starting with 2, 3, 5 and 7. The visibility rule provides quick check to determine whether a number is divisible by a particular prime number without actually performing division. By applying the divisibility rule sequentially, starting from the smallest prime number 2, we can identify potential prime factors and divide the number repeatedly until we reach 1, obtaining the prime factorization. These rules help in narrowing down the possible prime factors and reduce the number of divisions required, making the prime factorization process more efficient and systematic. Example one, you may pause and have a go. Now let's start breaking this down in the product of its prime factors. We have 126. Now because it's an even number, we can start division using two. Now we just have 2 into 126, we have it 63. Now 63 is not an even number, so the next prime number to start with this is 3, because 6 plus 3 is 9, so we know that this is divisible by 3. So 3 into 63 is 21. Next is 3 again, 7, and lastly 7 till we get to 1. So therefore, our answer is 2 times 3 times 3 times 7, or 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 7 in index form. Example 2. You may pause and have a go. Now by division, let's break down 330. We'll start with 2 since it's an even number. So 2 into 330 will give us 165. Now, this number is divisible by 3. If you decide to use 5, you will still get the same prime factors. But knowing that 165 is divisible by 3, I'm going to use 3 here. So 3 into 165 will give me 55. Now, the next number is 5. 5 into 55 will give me the 11. Now, the next prime number that can go into 11 is 11 itself which will finally give us 1. So therefore, our answer is 2 times 3 times 5 times 11. Example 3. You may pause and have a go. Now let's find the prime factors of 560. Since it's an even number, we'll start with 2. So 2 into 560 will give us 280. And 2 into 280 will give us 140. Now 2 into 140 will give us 70. 2 into 70 will give us 35. Now this is not an even number, so we're going to look at using the next prime number for 35. And this will be 5. 5 into 35 will give us 7. And finally, now we have 7 into 7 will give us 1. So our answer is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 7, or we can have it as 2 to the power of 4 times 5 times 7 in index form. Well done. Keep on learning. Don't forget to click the like button, press the notification bell, and subscribe for more of our daily videos.